privilege I've been invited to play in the Army All-American Game this January. It's a great privilege and an extraordinary opportunity for me to be able to travel down to Texas this year and represent my family and my community. I could not have made it to where I am today without the help of my parents and my three sisters. Thank you to all of my friends and my teammates who've become like family to me. I would like to thank all the teachers, administrators, and coaches who have supported me from the very beginning. A special thanks goes out to Coach Pierce, Coach Tavelli, and Coach Brown for being there for me for, throughout the past four years. I couldn't have done it without all these people. But who I would like to thank most of all is God, because without him, I would not have anything. Without him granting me the strength, the courage, and the wisdom to stay on the right track, I would never be close to where I am today. He, he blessed me with all the gifts that I have, and everything I do, I do for him. Since I was six years old, I've been working to get to where I am today, and for what, I, what I hope to accomplish in the future. I'm extremely honored and humbled to be recognized by the Army All-American Game as someone worthy to put on their uniform and uphold all the values that they represent. Thank you, everyone, for your continued support. It means everything to me. I'd like to say a few words here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the uh, U.S. Army representatives for coming today, other dignitaries, teachers, administrators, student body, football team, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Carter, and of course, Alex. Uh, the way I start this off is uh, every year we ask uh, young men who want to be a captain and potential leader of our teams to uh, submit letters. And usually you have seniors that are captains. A few years ago, I started to have juniors be captains also. They had to submit letters uh, stating the reason why they want to be a captain. And Alex was one of those young men. So I'd like to read his letter to you in 2010. Once you become a junior captain, then you set the foundation for the seniors and those guys that will be captains after that. And uh, Alex was one of those guys, and he got selected as a junior captain. Now we'll read his letter to you. And as, you re as I read this letter to you that he gave me in 2010, you will see some of the things that led us to the state championship last year. Here's Alex's first thing he says, a leader leads by example whether he wants to or not. I want to be a captain of this football team. I truly believe that we can be the best in the district with the talent that we have if we hold each other accountable and getting better every day. Hold each other accountable. That's a tough thing for young people, to hold each other accountable. Hold your peer accountable. That's why we were successful last year. That's why we're successful again this year. He says, my goals are higher than that of our team. I want to go undefeated. We didn't make that, but we kept going. Make the playoffs and have a legitimate chance of winning the state championship. So he had a forethought to think if we worked hard, we were accountable, then we'd be the state champions we were last year. And here's the last thing he says. When we do accomplish this goal, I want to be right next to you guys, leading you as a captain of this football team. That's a heck of a statement to say, to, to make you be accountable at the same time staying side by side. So that's, that kind of set the tone for us last year. A couple other things I'd like to say about Alex. I've been fortunate to coach and teach a lot of uh, students and student athletes throughout my years, 20 plus years of coaching. I've seen those individuals that are athletic and not sharp in the classroom. I've seen those individuals that have been uh, okay on the football field and so-so on, uh, uh, on uh, in the classroom, and I see those things. Alex embodies all of those. He, do, he, does, he does everything in the classroom right, he does everything in the football field right, he does everything in the community right, and that's what makes him special. So he's the best one I've ever been associated with, as far as a student athlete. And, and going to Stanford, that's what you gotta be. You gotta be that student athlete. And with his GPA and his background, his way he's been raised, and his athletic ability, he's going to be successful. The question is why? Why is he that way? And here's some things. I always talk to our football team. We compare and do life things throughout every scout report. And it's one I've always talked about. And I say there's three types of people in the world. Uh, they are those who wonder how things happen, those who wish things could happen, and lastly, those who can make things happen. Alice Carter makes things happen. He makes things happen because of his academic priorities, his leadership qualities, his high character, and unmatched athletic ability. He personifies student athlete. He is one of kind. 
I am blessed, Alex, to be part of your life. He is truly an all-American in everyone's heart, especially here at Barclays. Congratulations, Alex.